All right, here we go. We are hovering. Hey, this is working actually really good. I like this. There he goes. He was just having a little bit of the uh, a little bit of issues going uphill there. All right, can we clear the rock jump is the question. And Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today we're going to be checking out some viewer creations. Now it's been a while since we've done a viewer creations episode because I've been busy doing the micro city and the contest, but I just wanted to let you guys know that no, I was not ignoring my Discord section for viewer creations. So we're going to be checking some of those out here today. Now fear not, there will be a Micro City episode coming up this weekend. And I am really, really excited to bring you that episode because there's going to be a lot of cool things in that one. But yeah, all the uh, workshop creations, all the links are down below. Uh, if you want to download anything you see on this episode here today. And remember folks, if you are enjoying Scrap Mechanic on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's jump right into this. Alright, so we've got a lot of stuff to check out here today. Now we're not going to check out everything. Uh, some of these are just a part of one workshop. Uh, we do have some stuff by Mr. Wiz, like the, uh, the mech here. We've got this sweet motorcycle. we got a WASD plane over here. And we've got one thing that I'm going to spawn in here in a second. And then over here, we've got something by Edvin. Uh, he is one of our Discord uh, elite builders, and he's like one of the kings of suspension and scrap mechanics. So we've got something from him. Plus, we have something that I can't spawn yet. It is a Subnautica sub. It is absolutely big, and I'm not really sure I can spawn it in with the other creations. So we will check that out last. All right, so as far as our first creator here, we have Mr. Wiz. Now, Mr. Wiz is a pretty awesome creator. Uh, he's helped us a lot on the sky base, and he's done some stuff for the micro city. Uh, but yeah, he's got some really cool stuff here. He's got this military motorcycle, which this is probably one of the best motorcycles that I've seen in Scrap Mechanic. Plus the scaling, everything about it just seems perfect, and I think we might use it here in the future. But he's got that. He's got a steampunk boat here. Uh, this is pretty cool. We'll spawn this here in a second. It's a little bit more laggy. And then he's got some other things like these uh, these bipedal walkers, and then he's got like this normal mech. I think he's got another version of this one too. Uh, keep in mind, most of his stuff that he has is vanilla. The only thing that I've seen him use mods on is this military uh, motorcycle right here. Obviously, I think it's using some Lord Payne mods. But everything else you see, these are all vanilla, including the walkers, which is actually kind of cool. So, let's go ahead. First thing I want to check out is this motorcycle because check this out. This thing is sweet looking. I've not had much luck with motorcycles on Scrap Mechanic. From the ones that I've checked out and the ones that I've actually sought out on the workshop. I don't know, it's just something about them. They're kind of hard to control. Uh, but this is actually a little bit different. Now, I think he's using some sort of suspension glitch and I think it's right there. And then you have the, uh, I think that's the suspension glitch, possibly. There's some of these blocks here, you can hardly tell what they are. Uh, then you've got the turning up here. But this thing is really unique. Now check this out. When you hop on this, it actually looks like it's pretty close to scale with the Scrap Mechanic character. Now keep in mind the Scrap Mechanic character's legs are a little bit stubby. But as far as, it looks like he's actually like grabbing the, the handlebars and everything. So that's cool. But yeah, this thing is really, really awesome looking. Fairly stable. Uh, it does turn really fast uh, if you sit there and hold the A and D keys. Uh, you can do like a quick power slide 180. Kind of like a, I picture it like a dirt bike. Or if you want to turn a little bit more slowly, you can kind of tap the A and the D. And it'll kind of give more of a gradual turn. Now, it's not immune to hitting like rocks and stuff. When it hits that, it will throw the bike a little sideways. But I think this is something that maybe we can use in the future. I would love to, if Scrap Mechanic Multiplayer will allow it, I'd love to do a motorcycle race. I know it's been requested. Uh, normally we do like our own builds, but I just think it'd be cool to set up a off-road course and maybe do a dirt bike race with quite a few people. Uh, but as far as the creation itself, Mr. Wiz, like I said, he's done a fantastic job. Uh, he's using some of the Lord Payne, looks like like a little pulleys or something. And then he's got the belts, which you can see the back one actually moves with the back wheel. So I thought that was a nice little touch. Now this thing also does have two seats, so you can put a buddy on back. I don't know really what that looks like. I imagine it looks actually pretty cool. Uh, it, as far as the way it's turning, uh, I don't know what type of stabilizer he's using. I don't hear any thrusters going off, so it's not like a thruster stability. 
I'm assuming it's some other sort of stability glitch or block, but you can see how it kind of rocks back and forth uh, if you sway it really hard and it's got to balance itself back out. Now one thing I do want to test this on, I kind of want to hit a jump with this because I feel like that might be really awesome. So there is a sweet rock jump right there and I want to hit it. All right, here we go. Oh boy. Uh, hopefully I don't hit a rock or something on the way there. Come on. Oh, straighten it out. Oh, that might have been too much run up. Here we go. All right, can we clear the rock jump is the question. And... Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, that would have kind of hurt, but I think... Uh, I'm going to count that as a clear. I feel like if we wouldn't have uh, kind of fallen over there at the beginning, we would have definitely cleared that. This is a sweet creation. I really like this. I'm really glad he sent this over to us. Uh, like I said, if you want to check out his workshop, it is down in the description. But we are not done with Mr. Wiz. He's got a couple more things that we're going to check out real quick. So let's go do that. Alright, so as far as the next creation that we are going to check out, I think we're going to check out this walker. Because anytime you see a walker in vanilla scrap mechanic, it's always impressive. Now this is a bipedal walker. He does have a four-legged walker. Also, I think he's also got something else on his workshop. Uh, this thing looks really cool. I know Mr. Wiz is more into like steampunk mechanical type things. And this is impressive because this looks like a junk mech. And I pictured this would actually work really well in a survival mode. I don't know if it's got any weapons on it, but I guess you could mount one of the new survival weapons on there uh, once we get them. And uh, what does this look like? Oh, this is really cool. What are the, uh, what are the other seats do? I'm actually kind of curious. Do those control the arms? Possibly. Hold on, let's hit the one key here. Okay. Alright, so that's the uh, the door on the front. The two key is... Oh, there's the lights. Okay, the three key. There's the... I guess that's the legs. And we just hit the... Oh, WASD. Oh. Uh, <laughs> the terrain that it's on looks like it's really doing a, a moonwalk, but it's, it's trying. Here, let's turn it around real quick. There we go. He's a little bit of a slower robot. He's a... We'll say he's old. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got too close to Evan's creation. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hold on. Let's uh, let's set this back up. Let's turn you this way. There we go. All right, let's get moving now. There he goes. He was just having a little bit of the uh, a little bit of issues going uphill there. Now, keep in mind, I think this is... Uh, I don't know if there's any stabilization or anything in here. Uh, he's got the legs on bearings, so you can see how the both sides of the legs are actually angled up, or the feet... Uh, so I think that's what's keeping him up. Now I want to say there's some sort of stabilization here because if you look really close, uh, the creation is made out of metal, so you know it's heavy, and obviously that would be very top heavy. So I'm not quite sure there, but it really does get along pretty good for a, uh, a big bulky bipedal walker. Kind of like a, a old, uh oh, oh, no, 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 okay, so maybe there isn't stabilization. Yeah, it reminds me of like an old mech, like something you would see like in a steampunk world, maybe doing some work. Uh, I need to look at its arms here and see what type of weapons it possibly has or if it's just arms. Alright, so it appears that it has a gun on one side and maybe like a grabbing arm on the other. Let's see. Alright, so each side I'm assuming has buttons. So this is a three-person walker. Oh! Oh, check that out. Oh! Oh, oh hold on. <laughs> Uh, hold on. Oh, this actually is WASD controlled. This is like a full-on arm. That is really, really awesome. So you can extend it out with pistons, close it, turn it, and you can stick it back in. All right, that's cool. What about the other side real quick? I want to hit that. Uh, the one key. Is that the extending? That might have been the extending there. Let's raise the... Oh, yeah, it's a gun. So let's raise that up. Move it. I'm assuming maybe it's got like a tote bot in it or something. Is that a gun? Wait, what? I don't think that's a gun, actually. I think, it does. I think it's something else. I like that little folding action that it does. That is sweet. You know, this would be kind of cool if you had a three-person, like, mech challenge. Maybe you had an objective or something, and each person... One person walks it, one person controls the left arm, one controls the right arm. Man, might have just came up with an idea for a multiplayer video. That is awesome, though. So anyways, I think it's time, I could have fun with this all day, I think it's time to move on to a, uh, another creation here. Okay, so the next thing that we have is a fast steampunk boat. Now, this is pretty cool. I was going to check out this uh, WASD flyer, 
which it works relatively well. I'm just not the most coordinated flyer. It's actually one of the better ones that I've seen, and the way it looks, it looks actually really cool. Uh, but we're going to go ahead, we're just going to show this to you real briefly on the lift, and we're going to move over to this uh, other creation here, because I like hover ships. And this is just that. This is just a steampunk version of it, and this has one of the most unique looks that I've ever seen. As far as I can tell, uh, like most of Mr. Wiz's creations, this is all vanilla. And it looks kind of old, rusted, it's got that steampunk vibe, it's got these uh, flaps on the side, you've got this big tail rudder, and then you've got all these thrusters, there's thrusters everywhere, but let's climb up in it. Now what's really cool about this, this actually looks like, almost like a train engine, and how it uses these arms and pistons, and I believe these move some of the, uh, the side thrusters. So you've got that, you've got this actually kind of a unsafe looking uh, bow of the ship. I think this is the bow, or the top of the ship, I don't know. My ship terminology always gets mixed up, so we're not going to say anything else. Uh, let's see, you can climb into here. Uh, is there a undercarriage here? What is down? I see a lot of bearings. What is that? I might have to investigate what that is. I'm not 100% sure. I don't think there's a way to get down in this ship. Uh, not that I can see, but anyways, Let's get up in the uh, cockpit here. Now there's just two buttons. You've got the one key, which enables the hovering. Now everything else is WASD, so as soon as you hit W here, here we go. Check this out. Now what is really, oh, it's gonna be a rock. Oh, we just hit a rock. Okay, let it stabilize, there we go. Nice. Okay, so what's really cool, when you hit the A and D key, watch on the deck of the ship. You'll see those pistons, and it actually is, let's see if I can get a good camera angle here. If you watch the front thrusters, it's actually turning those. That's what's actually helping this thing turn. So that is really, really unique. Alright, so he says this thing is super fast, I think we should actually test that out. Uh, the two key, if you're wondering, is just like some extra power as far as your thrusters to push the, uh, the ship up a bit, and I just wrapped around a tree, that's not good. <laughs> go ahead and turn, hold on, maybe we can use the two thruster here, there we go. So yeah, it just kind of lifts the boat up a bit, I'm assuming, I don't think it stabilizes this way, so if you were to go up high, I think ultimately it's still going to want to drop itself, is it? No, that just almost sets the height, yeah, it is dropping itself, but it kind of does a gradual decline. But anyways, I want to try some speed here, so let's hold that W down. Uh, I'm going to try to shoot and stay on the mostly flat land over here. But I'm curious as to what type of speed this thing's actually got here. Uh, that's pretty good. I mean, it's not like uber, super duper fast where you're bouncing off of everything. But this is doing a absolutely fantastic job of keeping itself above the ground and not digging in. Like, it bounced off there, but it quickly corrects itself, which is actually really good. Uh-oh. Um, can we make this turn? Uh, it's going to be a tight turn here. Here we go. Got to avoid the rocks. Actually, we can, let's hit the two key a bit to raise ourselves over these rocks. There we go. Oh, no. Hit the W. Oh, we just avoided that wall. <laughs> that is awesome. All right. We are coming in hot here. I could have a lot of fun with this creation. Uh, like I said, once Scrap Mechanic really gets itself together and gets that survival mode, uh, you can only imagine stuff like this in survival mode. Say you want to go across the map to go salvage some parts, and you could take something like this over there. That would be absolutely amazing. Uh, that, and if you could attach some guns to this, that would be a uh, that'd be something. I, I'm getting really pumped up for survival mode. They had a pretty good little dev vlog on it the other day, and they got they had some really cool pictures showing some of the maps and some of the new tiles. And there's gonna be like a junkyard tile which looks absolutely stunning because I think it's going to be something where a lot of the big farm bots live. So, anyways, uh, that is a very, very cool creation. I think we are ready to move on to our next one. All right, so the next creation we're going to check out here. This is made by Bush and Edvin. Now, you've probably heard Edvin's name before. He is one of our Discord Elite Builders winners. Uh, he's actually the first one. Uh, he built a really awesome... Uh, I would say trophy truck similar to this, except for it didn't have a body on it. Uh, he is one of the best suspension builders that I've seen in Scrap Mechanic. And him and this Bush guy, which I've never heard of before, have actually put this vehicle together and sent it through the Discord. 
Now, this thing is rather impressive. One of the first things that I notice about it is these wills. Uh, I'm gonna link these down in the description. This is the first time I've seen these wills in Scrap Mechanic, and these are some of the best wills that I've ever seen. As far as an off-road standpoint, these are magnificent looking. So you've got that, you've got a, obviously a really complicated suspension because it's Edvin, and why not? I mean, look at all those blue free bearings. That is insane. Like, I don't, I don't get it. So this thing might lag a little bit when I drive it because obviously there is tons of bearings in here. So let's go ahead and check this out. Now, what is really cool about this? Check out this interior. Boom. Look at the detail in there. Let's hop into it. Oh yeah, buddy. Check that out. Uh, he's using a lot of Lord Payne parts here. Now, one thing I like that he's done, the dash itself seems more sloped uh, than I've ever seen before. Like, you've got it sloped down over on the sides, and then he's got these little plate pieces uh, out the, well, there's no windshield, but out the front, and it looks like the dash actually extends out further than it, I guess it really does. I don't know if that's plate pieces on top of that or if that's hollow. I don't know. It looks really cool, so let's go ahead and close the door here. I almost want to do this from the first person camera. So anyways, I think we're ready to go here. Let's go ahead and click some buttons. The two key is... Oh, it's got blinkers. Okay. Actually, what lights are those? Those are nice looking lights. Huh. It seems like I'm always missing some of these parts here when it comes to scrap mechanic new parts. Like, those back tail lights look really, really good. Alright, so we got the four key is... Let's turn off the blinker here. Four key is... So that's the extra brights. Five key is... Okay. The top LED, six key is radio, and seven is, that's something to do with, oh, it's the tailgate, that was suspension, there we go. Alright, well, I love off-road creation, so let's go test this thing out. Oh yeah, check this suspension out, this is awesome. I love watching that suspension, this one actually, is that a solid arm in the back? Oh, it is. Alright, so you got like a solid arm going across, actually looks like that, and Wow, there's a lot going on back here. So you've got the arms that are coming off the bottom of it. you got the solid axle. You've got the suspension pieces being held up there. Oh, that is cool. All right. I feel like we need to go find a jump here and hit it. All right. Searching around for a nice little ramp to hit. Ah, uh, let's see. You know, we hit the one with the motorcycle over here. It's somewhere in this area. I'm a little bit lost. I mean, I guess we are still getting to test this thing out suspension-wise because it's doing a fantastic job of getting over a lot of this terrain here. Now, here's a nice little bump. Oh, we just bounced there. Ooh, I know which area is coming up here. This is going to be the one tile that is really deep. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, I know there's a jump in this area. Let me go around, and we're going to hit that jump real quick. All right, here we go. We're climbing the banking. Hopefully, we're going to pick up some speed here. Uh, this thing is actually super stable. Like, it doesn't dart off too much, like some creations. And, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> okay, we might need a little bit more speed, but other than that, this is, uh, this is fantastic. You know, the bad thing is I can lose a lot of time playing with these things. These are just so fun to mess around with. Yeah, I best move on to the next one here. All right, so for our last creation here, we have one by Nightshade, and this is the Cyclops from Subnautica. Now, I have not played this game, admittedly. I, I own it in my Steam library, but I've just never actually got around to uh, playing it. But this thing is actually quite big. I kind of hope we can spawn it here. Uh, so it looks like the controls are boost up, which it says don't use, please. So obviously we're going to use that. Uh, the pitching is two and three, rollings four and five. It uh, looks like forwards is six, and it's AD turning, and let's see. Oh, you know it's good? Oh, hey, that didn't freeze out bad. Oh, dear, this thing is huge. What in the heck? Cool. Okay, let's go ahead. We're going to move this thing over here. Uh, it took a little bit. It seems like it froze up, but we're good to go here. All right, so that is actually kind of impressive how that's hovering. You know, I'm kind of curious as to what blocks he's using because the sides look particularly heavy, but it seems like it's stable. Okay, cool. Uh, question is, how do we get into this? Uh, I'm going to assume it looks like we can... Ah, here we go. Okay. Oh, are we in? I guess we're in. Hold on. Oh, here we go. All right, so we're in. Now, I'm not really sure how accurate this is to the game and... Whoa. 
Whoa, this thing's got a really detailed interior. Nice! Alright, so this appears to be the cockpit. Uh, looks like you've got like a little workstation over here. Uh, if you guys want to name down in the comments like what I'm looking at, because I'm not really sure. Like, what the heck is this? There's a sensor here. Oh, dude, that moves. Oh, dude, it, it kicks back. What the heck? <laughs> so that's something. Uh, you've got that. Uh, oh, you know, that looks like that door might be a little tight. Let's go use the other door here. Dude, these look like uh, lockers. Yeah, you got that. You got... <gasps> Wait, what? What the heck is this? Okay. Uh, is there something up here that I should be looking at? Oh. Okay, well that just seems like there's a compartment up there. Doesn't really look like there's anything up there. There's a little bit of logic. Oh, looks like it opens up. That prob probably takes you out. Uh, the thing's hovering right now. I'm getting a little bit of bouncing from it, but that's... I'm assuming that's what that is. This appears to be a hatch that doesn't work. Looks like you got some logic down there. Uh, let's see, what's in the back over here? Uh, I'm assuming this is a engine room? Yep, that's what that appears to be. All right, now question is, does this thing fly? Or actually, another question is, are we gonna fall off this cliff? Uh-oh. Hold on, okay, so that seat does nothing. This seat does nothing. It's all the seat here, the middle one. Oh boy, I really hope we don't fall off this. Okay, let's go ahead and try to turn a bit. See how stable this is. Oh? Oh? Uh-oh. Hey! Hey, that's working. Okay, so it says don't hit one. So you're pitching up and down is two and three, which that seems to be working pretty good. Uh, it seems like the, uh, the hover stability is uh, having a little bit of... It's not having problems catching up. It's just a, it just seems like it might be a little behind. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and hit, there we go. Okay, six makes us go forward. I probably really should have spawned this in a flat world. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, you know, I have an idea. We're gonna go out to the outer side and I think I should be able to fly this around then. All right, here we go, we are hovering. Hey, this is working actually really good. I like this. Uh, it doesn't appear to have any stability glitches or anything, so this is all a hover sensor based stability method. Uh, sometimes, you know, people will put big stability glitches in here and these things will be super stable, but this is pretty impressive uh, for what it is. Uh, let me try, what is the rolling like? Okay, that's the rolling. And then, of course, there's an AD converter in here that does turn it. The turning is uh, admittedly a little bit slow, but that's really, I mean, to be expected with something of this size. Let's uh, pitch down a little bit here. This is how to speed us up. There we go. Uh, let's roll a little to the right. Cool. Hey, we're picking up some speed now. Uh, I don't think it's stable enough to walk around in because it is doing that kind of ship up and down motion. Uh, so it's probably a little hard to do that. Now, if we were on a flat map, I'm pretty sure this would be a little bit more stable, but the, uh, the sensors are picking up the different elevation changes on the ground here so overall it looks fantastic he's done a really good job with the modded parts kind of creating that dome I like the glass here in the front uh, I really actually appreciate stuff like this I love this I kind of wish I had this uh when we were oh that is a tree and we've hit a tree yeah I really kind of wish I had this uh whenever we were doing the underwater base this would have been really useful but yeah uh, that's really cool I want to thank Mr. Nightshade for sending this over give you guys one more look Actually, I haven't looked at the back here. What is that? Oh, that looks actually really cool. That kind of makes me want to play some Subnautica. Maybe I'll start that up one day. But anyways, that's going to about wrap it up for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Viewer Creations. If you want to submit anything, you can either go through the Discord or you can send it to the email that I'm going to flash up on screen. Uh, like I said, we are returning to Micro City uh, come Saturday. I've just had some uh, problems with Scrap Mechanic uh, with some of the recording. I'm beginning this weird blue flickering a lot. It started at Multiplayer Monday, so I'm still trying to diagnose what is causing that. But I think we'll should be, uh, or I think we will be good to go. Uh, when it comes to Micro City this weekend. But anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. If you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time on Scrap Mechanic. Thank you.